Greetings everyone, this is Jason Yeldell and we're continuing our presentation and showcase of custom apps that we've developed in-house for the Windows Surface Pro that provide productivity to a wide range of industries uh, ranging from small businesses to biotechs, engineering, manufacturing, all the way to retail and uh, personal use for the use of uh, productivity. Uh, so continuing on, the next application we want to showcase that we have optimized for use on the Windows Surface Pro, but it will work on any other uh, Windows PC or laptop, but you get the best experience with the tapability and portability of the Windows Surface Pro, um, is what we call Easy Clean. And this is a highly requested uh, application um, through our firm. And it's basically an application that gives a dry cleaning or laundromat business a very easy to use point and click point of sale solution that also doubles as a way to generate invoices, ticket numbers, keep track of tickets, outsourcing, deliveries, all that information, all the data that you normally would have to keep track of when running a dry cleaning and laundromat business, but distilled down to one very easy to use application that's optimized for use on the Windows Surface Pro. And it's available for instant download, as you see here off of our website, yeldlscientific.com. Um, we do offer reselling, but it's actually a, a very cheap application. It's a uh, less than I think $20 you know, to download the application and that's very cost effective for something that can be used uh, in an industry, a booming industry such as dry cleaning and, and laundry which will always be around. Uh, so to launch that application I'm just going to call it up. I'm using my Windows Surface Pro right now. I'm actually using my mouse just so you can see what I'm clicking but I actually could walk around with the tablet and use my fingers etc. So I'll launch up the Easy Clean application as you see right here. This is the icon for it. And you can install that to your home screen. Actually, let me log out of this application I was currently using. Let me call up Easy Clean. And it loads in an Excel backbone uh, just for processing input as it's input into the system. It performs little minor, minor calculations on it and then stores it to another backend and displays it to the user in a pretty interface. So as you see here, this is the home screen of Easy Clean. So you could train your employees uh, how to use this system in about five minutes. It's very easy to use, it's point and click. Someone doesn't have to have years of experience in the dry cleaning and laundry industry to understand what's going on. Um, it's just a very simple to use app. You could actually make it even better for yourself if you have two actual kiosks within your facility. You can have a front end, um, stable, stationary Microsoft Surface or laptop that's bolted down and that could be used for you know intake. You could have another Microsoft Surface in the back end for your technicians and those who are actually performing out the duties of your operation where they can actually see work orders as they're coming in and out. Um, it's very easy to use and there's a host of ways in which you can have it work for you. You can install it to Dropbox and share things back and forth and have automatic notifications. It's very easy, very nifty, very convenient. So let's say that I'm actually in the front end of the dry cleaning and laundry business. Someone comes in and brings in some dirty clothes. Okay, so I wanna intake those items. I tap intake with my finger. It will load in the intake screen. And this is all built off of a backbone of Excel to process the data, but then it stores it elsewhere and displays to us in a pretty interface. So let's say I wanna record the client's information. I can intake their phone number. And it has a built-in database where you can actually search for previous customers and return customers and things like that. So I'll just put in my phone number. Let's put in my name. And you can record an email address and this is used for automatic e-receipts and notifications on when an order is ready for pickup. Okay, and any special notes about the order. This is all free text. And now I can choose when is this order gonna be ready for pickup. At this point, I would have already seen what they're brought in. They're bringing in a pair of pants. I know that's only gonna take me one day. So I can just say, okay, this is gonna be you know, ready tomorrow. So I'll just check the next day. And then I'll choose the items that they're bringing in. I can just search here. And these items in these drop downs are configurable by you. Once you download the app, you have the ability to set what you want the drop down to show. So let's just choose something, let's say pants. And this is all tappable, but I happen to be using a mouse now. Just use my finger for that drop down. Let's select say three pairs of pants. I already have it set up that each time we clean pants, it's gonna be $5 per pair of pants. So it's multiplying three times five, giving us a line total of 15, which you can see the five right here, um, giving us a tax and then the grand total. And you can set up all those uh, details, such as the tax and things like that, built into the app as soon as you download it. So I'll say that I'm done. I'll click OK. I'll just tap that with my finger. It actually lets me know, are you sure that this order will be ready by that day? You have the ability to change it if you want to, but yes, I'm comfortable. I'll have that ready in one day. So I'll select yes. 
and it actually now if asks the user now if they want to accept payment. And you can see we have built-in PayPal um, integration into the software. So if we wanted to accept a credit card payment, we could log into PayPal right now from the same screen, swipe it, type in a credit card number, accept their PayPal email address and have them pay us on the spot. Or you can just log it and take care of that money uh, matters elsewhere in your existing system. If you already have a credit card reader or you already have some sort of cash register and you don't wanna change that process too much, you can just log all the information here and have detailed records. And since we're using a backbone of Excel, we have very, very detailed records and a million ways in which we can slice and dice the data. So let's just say that the customer um, is gonna prepay. Let's just say they prepaid $15.45. Actually, let's make it so they gave us $20. So we can see that it calculates the change back of $4.55. We'll select checkout. Are you sure? We get to confirm. Yes, I'm sure that they want to check out. It actually saved that data to the backend database. And that database can be you know, stored in the cloud through OneDrive and Dropbox. So there's things you can do to make this really robust. We now have an order receipt displayed on screen. And we can scroll and see all the details of it. And at this point, we can send it. We can actually generate a mobile e-receipt that we can send on the spot to the client, to their email address. So I'll just tap send message and it instantly sends that to the client by way of Microsoft Outlook. And we can close out of this order and it'll bring us back to the main menu. And now we can see, okay, this order that had ticket numbers assigned, a new entry has been added to the work orders module. So this is for the back end now. So assuming you have another display in your back end, or you can just walk around with this surface from the front to the back. But it'd be better if you have two surfaces or two laptops, one showing, you know, one dedicated for the front end and one dedicated for the back end because now the back end would get a notification saying, okay, a new entry has been added to the work order. So meaning that some dirty pants are now ready to be cleaned. So we can close out of here, assume I'm a back end worker working in this laundromat. I would come here and see that there's three open work orders that I need to process. I'll tap on that and it will show me, okay, there's a uh, two entries for process of work order. So those are two dirty items that still need to be cleaned, two dirty tickets. There's also an outstanding cleaned item that was never picked up yet that we see right here that's waiting to be picked up. So let's just deal with the work order that needs to be processed. So I'll tap on process a work order and it will let me know, okay, the ticket number and when it's scheduled to be picked up. So I see 1046, that's our ticket number. I can tap on that with my finger. You can see that it's for three pants. And let's say that I cleaned it at this point. I can get a little detail of the e-receipt in, in case I want to know if there are any special notes about this particular order. And, you know, the intake person could have wrote something here such as, you know, don't use starch or something like that. But I would look at that before I process this order and make sure that it's ready for pickup. So let's say that I want to mark this as ready for pickup. I tap mark as ready. It let's me know, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Um, and now I can actually bag this, bag these cleaned items up and hang them up on the rack in accordance to a specified rack ID. And this rack ID can be whatever your business already uses or we can change the nomenclature. You can set all that up in the configuration menu. But I'll just keep the ticket number the same as the rack ID. So I now hung up these dirty, I mean these clean pants under rack ID 1046 on my carousel. So that's how we can find it. I'll select okay. Are you sure? Yes. I can now send an e-receipt to the customer letting know that their items are now ready for pickup. I can just send that message and it will send it to the email address on file and then it will bring us back to the main menu of the work orders module. So now we can see that the work orders have decreased by one but the customer pickup notifications have increased by one and that's what we would expect because now we have an additional order that's now ready for pickup. So now let's assume that I'm the customer, I come back, I want to pick up my three pairs of pants. So the front end person would open up their Microsoft Surface if it wasn't already, load up this application. They would go to the customer pickup module and see that there's two orders ready for pickup. They would tap that and select the particular order that the client wants to pick up. I'll select ticket number 1046. We can see that they don't have an existing balance because they paid, uh, they prepaid at the time when they dropped it off. And we can see that here. You know, the subtotal is $15, grand total is 1545. They gave us 20 and we gave them change back of $4.55. So the balance here is automatically displayed as zero. Now, if they didn't prepay, they would be forced to pay now and I would just type in the number here or you can take their credit card information or swipe it through PayPal, etc. So let's just say that everything is paid for, they're ready to pick up their clothes. I can just now click on confirm. Are you sure? Yes. And I can now send a final e-receipt to the client. Let me know that oh, this ticket has been officially closed out. You've picked up your clothes. And we have full records of this uh, in the app itself. So I'll say send message and it'll send that message. And that's optional. You don't have to send all these messages. 
but it will bring us now back to the main menu and now we can see that the customer pickup notification has decreased by one. And that's a very simple, very intuitive, very easy to use uh, dry cleaning and laundromat point of sale front end and back end uh, software solution. I don't know much about the dry cleaning and laundry industry. Um, I'm just a software developer. But even the way we configured this, you know, anybody can use it to just instantly understand how the dry cleaning and laundry business works. Um, you can train your employees all together within a 10 minute session that you click this, you tap that, you generate your receipts here. It's pretty much foolproof. Um, and it has everything that you would want out of a full service solution. No need to pay any uh, very expensive prices. You just download it instantly to your Windows Surface or a capable laptop, and then you're ready to go today, instantly. Right now, you could download it and have your business up and running. And we also included uh, other nifty little features, such as a search engine. And, you know, because I get tired of going to a cleaners and I lost my ticket, then I got to give them, uh, try to describe what I dropped off, and they can't find it. So we built in, you know, a ticket search where you can just type in ticket search tap ticket search rather and we'll pull up our free tech search engine where you can just type in certain things I'll just type in my name and I can see all the orders that are attached to that and you can see I have a bunch of orders that I was playing around the system but the most recent one which is 1046 you see here that it was picked up already so you can already see details of the order you get an instant preview of the ticket and things of that nature very easy to use if I wanted to see financial information if I'm actual the you know the owner of the business of the establishment I would tap on the financial icon and it will let me know if I want to see you know all the pickups this month all the pickups this year you know just this month just this year it will generate that information for example for this year we just have the one it's early in the year and we can see what our earnings were you know but if I want to do it for the month I could do it for the month and you can configure all that because it's doing all those calculations with the backbone of Excel so if I go back now we're pretty much done so I can go back again and it will bring me back to the official main menu and here you can see you have the setup where if I tap that, I can configure certain things, <clears throat> such as, you know, what is the sales tax percentage? What is my PayPal? I mean, what is my payment processor? You can type in here, authorize.net, Stripe, etc. Any URL that you want to have launched to automatically accept payment from the client. You can set up the prices of the items. So we pretty much have everything covered in a very easy to use, simple app that runs beautifully on your Microsoft Surface machine.